I'm reviewing a few products from the Ordinary Skincare line, which is a super affordable line. I'm specifically focusing on the vitamin C serum and the Matrixel serums. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. I'm always looking for different kinds of lines that have really good vitamin C serum and other kinds of serums that are nourishing for skin. So I've been wearing vitamin C serum for several years now. I've tried Paula's Choice. I really liked it. I found that the brand Timeless was a little, well, it was more affordable and that really, really works well for me, the vitamin C and their other serums as well. But I wanted to try The Ordinary because it's just so incredibly affordable, which you'll see out of the description box below. We'll have links to all the products I'm going to be reviewing. Click there for wherever you are in the world, you'll see the price and I think you'll agree that the prices are really great. So in the past two or three or maybe even four years, I've been focusing on my vitamin C serum either with my homemade version, which a lot of people go to my channel to watch the video and um, they actually find it by searching for it on a DIY vitamin C serum that works really well, or I like the timeless and I like that they're kind of thin. Um, I used to like really thick serums that have a really thick viscosity, but I've come to like the thinner serums, especially for the C, because the thinner they are, the quicker they absorb into the skin, and I can get on with my day because I can't put makeup on when my skin is covered with all kinds of thick kind of serums that still need to absorb. So I chose three of the vitamin C products from The Ordinary. I even talked to them on the phone a little bit about it because their, their customer service is really great. So the first one I started with, I'll try to um, pronounce these words. This is the one that had the 20% vitamin C, which is the one that I make for myself, DIY, and also what I buy from Timeless is the 20%. This one is the Ascorbal, hopefully I say this right, the Trecha Isopalmitate Solution in Vitamin F. And they call this a vitamin C derivative. It is a thinner formula, which I like. They have, have some oil in here, but not a lot. Um, they even mention that it's an oil, but it doesn't feel oily and it absorbs into the skin pretty quickly. And of course, because it's so inexpensive, I'll use a little bit more instead of being really chintzy with it in the palm of my hand. And I apply it twice a day, which I've been doing late, well, for the last few years with my other vitamin C's. And I found that it works really well. You have to use a sunscreen during the day as your last skincare product if you're going to use a vitamin C serum. I think this one is perfectly fine. And if you find that you need to find budget-friendly products, this would be a good line and a good product to start with. Now, if your skin is a little more sensitive, then you might want to go with their 12% vitamin C. This one they call a Scorbal glucoside solution, 12%. They call this a brightening serum, which vitamin C is, with stabilized vitamin C derivative. But you see, even the last one and this one, they're in dark bottles, which vitamin C needs to be in. And this one is perfectly fine. So if you want to start with something that's a lot less than 20%, the 12% would be a good one. Now this one is a little thicker formula. It's not so liquidy. Um, it's kind of, you know, syrupy. So this one takes a little longer to absorb into the skin because of what it's mixed with, but it's a perfectly fine vitamin C serum. The third one I bought comes in a tube as a cream, actually as a silicone cream. This is called Vitamin C Suspension 30%. I only have been trying this once a week at night. Use a little tiny bit. And I usually, I'll, I'll put some on my finger and I think, oh wait, that's too much. And I'll apply it after cleansing and um, toning and my skin is completely clean. This is the next product I put on. 
at night and then I put on another serum on top of it that's more moisturizing and then a moisturizer on top of that for the night. So this one is a little stronger that's water free and um, they call it a stable suspension because there isn't any water in this. I would suggest that before you buy this one or anyone like it that's in a tube that you read up on it on their website and even call them if you have some questions. I wanted to get the one in silicone because I knew it would go on smoother and not have a gritty feeling to it since, you know, there's no water in it to dissolve the dry particles of vitamin C. So this one is definitely worth giving a try, but I would do, I would do the 20% for a while first and then go to something like that. So since I've been using a 20% from another line, I thought I'd just go ahead and try this. So I haven't reacted to it. It does have a little bit of a tingly feel, which is interesting, and they said that would happen. Um, but I'm only putting on a little amount, and my, my face is already used to having vitamin C serum on it. So yeah, if you can take more and you've been doing a 20% for a while, you might want to try this and try it at nighttime. The next ones that I tried are more uh, peptide type of serums. They have this one called the Buffet, and I just thought, well, that sounds interesting. That sounds like it's a combination of different kinds of peptides, and it is. They call it a multi-technology peptide serum. They've got Matrixyl 3000 and other peptide complex ingredients in here, whereas from Timeless, I just buy one of their Matrixels and use it at a time until it's used up. This one, I just use a few drops after the vitamin C and put that on and it creates a really nice um, moisturizing type of product that holds moisture in. And I've really liked that so far. The other peptide serum I've used is what they call the Matrixyl 10% plus HA, which is the hy hyaluronic acid. And the HA helps to hold moisture in, so it's great to pair with a moisturizer on top of this um, or a sunscreen in the day that has moisturizer in it. So I, I bought both just to try them and see if I saw anything. I didn't really see anything very different on my skin with the Buffet versus this one, the 10% plus the HA. But if you know you like hyaluronic acid, that this one would be a good one to try. Now this line has so many other products on it and they're so affordable. I just suggest you go to their website and just start looking and seeing if there's anything else you wanna try. They recently came out with some sunscreens that I want to try in the future because I'm all about the sunscreen and I was reading up on some of the things that are in it and it sounds like good products because they are mineral-based physical sunscreens, which is my preference. Check out the products in the description box below. There will be links and check out one of my other videos by clicking its image over on the right side of your screen and I'll see you in the next video.